We currently have approximately a dozen active research protocols uh, from both clinical, the clinical uh, perspective as well as the basic science perspective. And we're looking at all areas of uh, cancer care, outcomes, uh, treatment, and complications. Our main focus is to identify problems in the clinic and then bring them to the uh, laboratory and then back to the clinic. Patients that undergo head and neck cancer treatment uh, lose their salivary function uh, secondary to the radiation and chemotherapy treatments. So they have a dry mouth, they can't swallow, and there's no cure for that condition. About 10 years ago or so, uh, I began looking at ways to regenerate salivary tissue in the laboratory, essentially growing tissue in the lab uh, to use as replacement tissue for patients undergoing chemotherapy and radiation for head and neck cancer. Salivary gland tissue regeneration is a little bit like baking a cake. We start with uh, base ingredients uh, that are normal human salivary cells that we borrow from a healthy patient. Uh, we then uh, incubate those cells and uh, culture them, adding various ingredients to improve their functionality. And then those cells are transplanted into a recipient, a living recipient, and, and currently uh, we are doing that work in a small animal model. Recently we've developed an innovative uh, cell delivery approach that allows many of the cells to, to survive uh, when they're transplanted into an animal. And in fact, uh, we've managed to improve salivary function in an animal model of uh, salivary-induced cell loss.